So, good morning everyone. Uh, first of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Xavier Normand and uh, I've worked for FastConnect for three years now. Uh, around distributed architectures implementation and particularly around Mulesoft solutions. Uh, also, I'm in charge of SOI consultants uh, team uh, who works um, around middleware, middleware projects implementation for our French customers. So today my presentation will aim to show how um, how the emergence of connected API has influenced French customers and uh, French companies. And what is the level of API use uh, these companies throughout our experience. Here's the agenda I propose for this presentation. Uh, firstly, an overview of FastConnect, uh, what is FastConnect and uh, and uh, an overview of it. Secondly, a global vision of API use uh, coupled with a cloud implementation and why API, how it's used in projects. Uh, in a third part, we will, I will describe two projects uh, we, have made, we have done and uh, use API. And the last section is about um, API progress from our customer projects and uh, how our customers, how, uh, how uh, our publisher partners uh, bring solutions uh, around that. So FastConnect is one of leaders in archi architecture, uh, in distributed architectures, and uh, brings its expertise to assist uh, in redesigning business applications by implementing methodologies and advanced technology system. And we are led to work on uh, the SOA architectures at different life cycle uh, phases of our customer projects, uh, from trainings, architecture design and development stage, to load testing, project deployment, um, application monitoring and uh, support, of course. Okay, this slide is uh, just an upgrading about API and um, a brief summary of API definition and uh, how it's used. Um, you can see an architecture which contains uh, on-premises custom applications, for example, Java apps. And uh, these applications interact with, with uh, each other using several protocols. Uh, it could be a developer choice, uh, a project constraint, etc. And uh, we can provide API to make communication easier uh, between them uh, in development stage. Generally, an interface contract uh, is often written in EV and enable documentation, and that is what interests us. Uh, interaction between on-premises applications and web applications throughout uh, SOAP protocols and REST architectures uh, via uh, services exposition. That's where we want to go. Um, just a story, uh, a little story about that. When I started working on middleware architectures, a lot of customers asked me um, which protocols to use to, <coughs> to, um, to exchange data between their on-premises applications. And I told them, uh, why not HTTP? And uh, why not uh, a REST architecture to expose uh, services? I mean that uh, what has been an increasing use has become a standard to exchange between remote applications today. Purpose of use. Why and how to use API throughout uh, the internet. 
um, the API I use is a result of an, an emergence of many SaaS applications, I think. And uh, we'll sh we shall see later that it brings a pay-as-you-go advantages. API development allows to implement private or public cloud to make easy uh, your own application available. And of course, you can collect many data, for example, from social networks around your business target to increase your project potential. So back to the SaaS applications. It's increasingly used in our customer projects. Um, and uh, I think there are two goals. The first one is uh, to offer a substitute of existing on-premises softwares. For example, uh, an ERP, a CRM. And the second one is to offer new services for companies to, from existing cloud platforms. For example, a marketplace, uh, user data from uh, LinkedIn or from Facebook. Uh, and these SaaS offers allows data interaction usual, usually with uh, REST services. SaaS applications allows to only pay what you want to use and uh, involve different features control associated with the cost. This is a pay as you go. And uh, you can have perhaps an online API documentation and an interface contract access. Of course, um, a standard protocol communication via uh, HTTP and uh, standard formats, uh, for example, XML or JSON. And uh, we will see that it could be increase your business, you, you could be increase your business information for sharing. We can see in France that cloud computing offers begin to emerge and uh, from our experience we believe, we believe that companies will require uh, to use the cloud to export most of their applications. But they don't only want to use public cloud for their business data and for example for security. A couple offer with a public and a private cloud will be necessary to take the first step towards this new change. Okay, so let's go to, to the use cases uh, and let me introduce you two cases we made from two different customers we have. The first one is about Aldebaran Robotics. Uh, it's a French company and uh, a world leader around humanoid robotics. Uh, perhaps you may know uh, the Nao robot, uh, which was come out in 2012. And about the project, uh, it includes uh, an enterprise service bus uh, inside the architectures to interact with uh, several applications. Uh, from on-premise application uh, SAP to sales to a Salesforce into the public cloud uh, and another custom application to manage and recover uh, data about uh, robot manufacturing uh, inside a private cloud, uh, a private Aldebaran cloud. On the one side, using SOAP protocol and um, uh, a web, uh, an API, and uh, in the other side, using uh, a REST architectures, uh, also through APIs. Uh, and US and Japan subsidiaries can also interact with the private cloud through private APIs. The second use case is about um, Perno, and uh, we made a project around uh, API and around uh, a marketplace. Uh, 
Um, Pernod is a French spirit and wine company, and uh, we have worked with Pernod for over one year uh, on several data interaction projects. This project includes also uh, an enterprise service bus inside the architectures to interact with uh, several applications on premises, uh, a CRM, an ERP, and um, we added a PrestaShop e-commerce solution uh, always on premises to store and manage uh, sold products. Finally, this architecture interacts with a French marketplace to store spirits on one online. APIs and REST architectures to pass uh, data between Pernod applications, PrestaShop and uh, Price Minister bring more scalability. Uh, for example, using uh, another solution for uh, e-commerce and for example, scalability uh, for uh, another marketplace, eBay or, or Amazon. Um, underplaying format and mapping data inside the ESB. This project uh, will lead to expose new web services with, of course, private, or of course, uh, APIs and uh, perhaps private REST APIs. And these uh, REST APIs also uh, allow to easily send and receive data from, for example, mobile devices uh, using, for example, a JSON format. And uh, the context is <coughs> to create uh, Android or iPhone applications for salesmen. Uh, another project outlook could be using uh, API to retrieve data from social networks. Uh, for example, to analyze consumer behavior uh, and to understand the influence, for example, uh, of a Pernod event in a bar uh, compared to the consumption of a particular brand. So uh, we will use um, social networks and uh, with uh, an enterprise service bus and APIs uh, bring data and uh, use um, a, a big data solution around that. This is the last part um, to present API next steps for companies uh, and how one of our publisher partners help us to uh, uh, to go with these changes uh, for French companies and for our customers on a middleware level in middleware architectures. As we saw before, French companies and our customers already use external APIs, <coughs> but still encounter challenges to expose their own public and private APIs. Um, for example, for partners, for suppliers, and this is a target we want to reach. To overcome difficulties uh, with that, uh, we can split the context with, uh, in, on three parts. Uh, the first one is about development stage. And uh, the API's impacts uh, involve to change or modulate your data type and your, mo your um, mapping model. So uh, the question is uh, also about the security and how to apply it. For example, uh, how to apply restriction on your API exposition and uh, can you make it dynamically? Um, the second step uh, is around deployment. Uh, you need to have a documentation, uh, an interface contract for your API and uh, of course online, and how to monitor your traffic on these services you want to expose. Finally, um, <coughs> which substructure can you use to deploy your services? Is it uh, with a public or private cloud, or is it on premises? Uh, and what are existing offers about that? 
to be simple, uh, we need to have a user-friendly development tool, development and monitoring tools uh, on your web services and different deployment offers. So, MuleSoft is one of our partners around ESB and data integration and uh, offers several tools around uh, the ESB. Uh, the first one is on the development part. You can use uh, an app edit to create easily uh, and uh, it's really user friendly uh, to create uh, an API uh, an API exposition and uh, coupled with uh, uh, the Mule Studio uh, tool, uh, it's a, a drag and drop tool to to create your flow uh, inside your your ESB. And uh, about the deployment uh, part, you can use a, a service registry and. Uh, you can use also a console to expose your web services and to expose the associated documentation and uh, example to test your web services on remote. And uh, the, last, the last part, substructure, uh, Mulesoft offers uh, different ways to deploy your, your ESB, uh, your data integration project. Uh, the first one is um, on-premises, and it's uh, a standalone uh, server to deploy your, your um, data integration platform and interact uh, via API uh, with uh, internet applications, SaaS applications, and on-premises applications. And then the second way is to deploy your application on the cloud. Uh, by the, the Mulesoft offer uh, is uh, Cloud Hub. So thank you very much, and sorry for my English. Uh, do you have any question? I thought I'd just ask one more question. You need at least one question. Um, so. What are you what are you what are you seeing as kind of the um, the barriers for adoption with the companies that you're working with right now with APIs? What what are their what are some of their hesitations? What are their concerns um, that that they have, and how are they how are you helping them overcome those? Sorry, can you repeat your question? Because in I'm wondering sorry. what are the barriers for adoption that you're seeing with your own customers and why those why there are those barriers for adoption with APIs in particular okay so if i understand your question is um, um, which is the constraints between uh, api usage uh, for um, ses applications and to expose apis this is your question well i'm just I guess the question is, do you find general acceptance for, you know, for adopting more API integration, or is there, is it still pretty early days for companies here in France, or what's your state of the, what's your thought on the state of the market right now for APIs, uh, for API adoption? Um. I think I I not understand your question. So, can you? No. Oh, the barrier. Oui. Uh, uh, about to to expose API. Okay. Yeah. We'll talk about oh. that. Oh, um, for example, um, business data to expose uh, business data on or to use a public cloud with uh, business data. Uh, inside the cloud, or for an another way is uh, the security. Uh, how to? But are they are they are they willing to do that? Are you finding that customers want to do that? Do they are they hesitant about doing that? Yes, it, it's not a uh, it's not a constraint, but um, it's just a, a target 
And uh, from our experience, I, I saw that a um, lot of our customers uh, want and use uh, existing APIs, but are not, um, um, are not prepared um, yet to, 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 um, to expose online their own uh, web services for security. I don't know why, but um, perhaps it's more about uh, business data and how to, to, to exchange business data uh, from their on-premises applications to the cloud uh, with uh, a security and um, and um, that that's why they I think uh, they they will be able to 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 expose their uh, web services uh, with uh, private APIs and with a private cloud to um, to make th sure that uh, they 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 will not. Uh, lose um, business data, for example. Th this is just, uh, okay, thank you.